I will continue to fight you on the air and off the air. Are you real? Well, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about it later, okay? Because we, we don't talk Fine. about it on the air right now. All right. Anyway, hi. Hi, hi. everybody. Now my brain's over there. Ah! <laughs> Jack, why did you give me this horrible story about a mom who told her kids to stay in bed while their house is on fire? A little bit of parenting, uh, you know, advice for you, something to not to do. It's good to have, you know, pros and uh, cons to parenting. Why, why did she, a woman instructed her two young children to stay in bed as she fled the family's burning home? The woman is now charged with murder. Oh, crap. Some moms aren't as fond of their kids as other moms are, I think, is what I, the yeah. lesson Yeah, well, actually, Stench just brought it up to a lot of uh, pregnant women not that happy about being pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, eight and ten years old, they died. That's awful. People are horrible. When you read, I mean, like, you go through stories. I could find probably a parent killing their kid's story, you know, every day. It's horrible. But here's what I understand. Who heard them say her say, stay in bed? Maybe she admitted it. Oh, yeah. I told you know what I mean? I read out of the house. Right. Uh, talking with a 911 dispatcher as the house burned, Green also said the door to the child's room was closed. She later said Addison, oh, that's when they went and named my kid. Was on the bed and Daniel was on the floor. She said they had been watching a movie and had lit a candle in the room. Hmm. Mm. Something fishy so, there. Yeah, almost like she lit the fire and then told him to stay yeah. in there. Yeah, exactly. So she's going down, thank God. Good. Yeah. Thank you for that, Jack. That uplifting hey, story. On the other end of that, to be a good parent, a good tip is those talking fire alarms that have your voice I think on that's them. That's so smart. Yeah, because it's true. If you put an alarm clock next to a young child, it won't wake them. It can go off and go off and go off, and it's weird how they'll they may never hear it, but their parents' voice. If you walk in and say one word, they'll wake up. Yeah, it, I don't know. I don't yeah. have a kid, but I think it's so smart because it's also calming. Like. Joey, you know, go to a door or a window or right. whatever. Window. I'd probably not be calm, though. Mine would be like, run, kids! Get out! The house is on fire! Luckily, I've learned my daughter is terrified of the smoke alarm because when I make fish sticks for some reason, it <laughs> sets off. Time? Yeah, it sets off the smoke <laughs> alarm, which then makes her freak out. And then uh, no daddy, no, and scream. So right. if it goes off, she'll oh. have a fit. Yeah. I, I love Jack's baby's new thing, which is help me, help me, oh. when she doesn't want to do something and Jack picks her up and, like, let's say target or whatever she yells out help me help me anytime you anytime she doesn't want to do something and you pick her up and are going to take her out in public out in public she starts screaming help me help me help me i hope you get arrested can you imagine if you're somebody like me that doesn't have children whatever and you're at target and you see this little two-year-old screaming and bending her back backwards going help me help me yeah and i'm not the most uh i would probably call somebody groomed good looking guy you know what i mean you don't look like a dad no i look like a homeless guy snowboarder <laughs> and, and you have this adorable little girl that's dressed to kill. Right. That's two years old, you know, that's always matchy, matchy girl. Right. I have to just teach her to say, You're not my daddy, help me. Oh. Because, oh. oh. Jack, I think I might call somebody, honestly. Yeah. Oh, no, I would call somebody if I saw me <laughs> taking a screaming, Help me, child, out of oh Target. Oh, my God. You're going to get arrested. It's, it's coming. My wife goes, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to happen. Yeah. I'd have a copy of her birth certificate with you. I know. I'm like, I have a couple pictures of my wallet, but I don't know if that's proof any oh psycho God, can get pictures that's crazy <laughs> help me help me <laughs> Jamie. Okey dokey, Smokies, it's Woo! Wednesday. Yay. We're smack dab in the middle of January. I can't believe it already. Where'd January go? I know, it, time flies. Holy Toledo. And we have to do our first calls of the day. And that phone number, by the way, for that is 1 800 star 987. First call of the day. So here's the. Wow. <sighs> I'm breaking things. <laughs> You're ripping the room apart. This was my my penis and yeah, balls candy, candy wang. cane. Candy wang, that's what yeah. it was. Do you want it? No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, there went the candy wang. It's in the trash. Did you want candy wang? No, I'm good. Okay. Anyway, it was cheap. Uh, nothing. All right, so um, we were kind of talking about this off the air, so I'll fill you in. I was telling him about the VH1 show last night. You know how they have different shows, Best Week Ever, uh, Celebrity Breakups, whatever. Yeah. Right. Well, part of the segment was, I cannot believe how many men leave their pregnant wives, get a divorce or whatever. Um, I forgot which celebrity it was. She was like seven months pregnant. She's just this gorgeous girl. Her and her, her um, boyfriend have been together seven years. And they have a baby. And then he was on, I mean, they have, she's knocked up. He was on set with some hot blonde chick. I wish I would have remembered all these names. I should have written it down. But he was on set with some hot blonde chick. And he left her for the hot blonde chick. It's not Denise Richardson, right? Because remember, she was pregnant when she 
broke up, and then I mean, I yeah. think they ended up getting back together and then breaking up again. But remember, they she was pregnant when Sorry, they broke Charlie. up. Yeah, yeah, it was. I would remember them. It was yeah. like somebody that I've seen, but I forgot. I totally get that. This is easy. Really hot girls are super high maintenance. They become pregnant and even a bigger pain in the ass, and you just can't take it anymore. Easy. But seven years together with somebody, you think you'd take everything. Well, you know, you, you've been through everything. You took it, but then then they elevated their pain in the ass game. See ya. So you would leave a pregnant woman? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I'd have to leave so I wouldn't kill her. Well, n- your wife was pregnant. You didn't leave and her. You, and you had your ex-wife pregnant, too. But and you didn't leave was, either no, one of them. You know what? Uh, this is how I survived the first wife. I lived in New York then, and she would leave, and I wouldn't see her for months at a time and come home to Los <laughs> Angeles. And I wasn't really around her all that okay, much. Okay, well, then the pregnant. second one, then. The second one was such a pain in the ass, I wanted to strangle but her. But you would never day. have an affair. No, but I wanted to kill her. But, I mean, how is it that these guys have affairs? Yeah, it doesn't seem logical. So, let me just take it to, w- none. To, <laughs> to where I'm going. Well, sometimes if we leg, like, sideways and, See? like, I don't know. It's just, Hurry up. Yeah, please. <laughs> like, get your rocks off. <laughs> get out of here. And let me go to sleep with the pillow, my pillow that like I hug. Right. It's like you hug that pillow more than me. I'm like, but the pillow fits between my ankles, between my legs, and around my arms. Like I love that pillow. <laughs> and when you hug that pillow, it doesn't want to bone you every time. Exactly. <laughs> Remember, like we were talking about yesterday. Sometimes you guys make us feel like all we are is, you know, yeah, the the uh, rolled in flour. Yeah, <laughs> there for the stupid. Yeah, yeah, not for the loving. So anyway, let me um let me tell you how this uh, uh progressed. So, of course, I watched this VH1 show in the other room. So, can you imagine what happens? He- yes, you go out to the room in which the snowboarder is sitting <laughs> and start a fight. Yeah. So, the snowboarder has all these plans oh. out of houses all over the dining room table, and he's doing his work, and he's on the computer, and he's doing you know some work they brought home. And he's in his own little world, just loving his little job, doing his yeah, little minding thing. Minding his own business, not bugging you. Not bugging me, Jack. Not watching the Speed Channel. Not watching anything. Just Fuel. Ha- working. Just has his work out on the table, and, and he's doing all this house crap. So, dun, dun, yeah. dun, boom, dun. Boom, <laughs> yeah. boom. Like, a, like oh, Godzilla, when you no. know, when was, they, they're was, like in their house in Japan, and all of a sudden everybody looks at each other yes, because they feel like the ground the earth vibrating. Is shaking. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, I get even in a the door and you hear. Dun, 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 dun. And I made a conscious decision to be mad. Like, I knew that I shouldn't be mad over a TV show, but I was mad. So I walk in there and I go, I just watched the most disturbing television. And he's like, what? Like, faces of death or something? You know, he's right. like, what? What? What happened? And he was like intrigued. Like, what, what was disturbing? Right. He thought I was going to tell him gossip. I'm like, do you know how many... Chicks get cheated on and left when they're pregnant. It's like, what are you talking about now? Yeah. But then I felt better because you guys didn't even know it. You were playing into my uh, my web, my evil web, my evil web. You guys were bitching about how your wives get pissed off during their dreams. Right. So yeah. they're even more psychotic than me. I actually saw footage of real live men oh, re- leaving real live women that are pregnant, and that's really, really crappy. But your wives get mad about dreams. And if you would have had okay. a crazy pregnant lady dream last night, you would have woke up pissed off. <laughs> and you. this doesn't work both ways. If you had watched a show where the couples were so in love and he brought her flowers, you'd still go in there mad. You wouldn't come out and go, you know what? I love you more because of what I saw on TV. You'd go, you know what? They're so much nicer on TV. So it never actually works out in our favor. Uh-huh. So your wife never goes, oh, my God, I had the best dream that you were so faithful yeah. and so sweet. And, yeah, and give I me was... a big hug. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it psychotic, psychosis? Is it psychosis? Or is it a sixth sense? That's what we're talking about this morning. Um, real quick, I, just out of nowhere. Last night, I was watching that VH1 show, Worst Celebrity Breakup Couples, whatever. And there were a couple of them on there, especially one in particular, where a woman was seven months pregnant, and her husband, her boyfriend of seven years, oh, I loved her, uh, he, he broke up with her and left her for another girl on, on another set. And it was just sad, because there she was all pregnant, seven months pregnant. And I wish that the boyfriend, my boyfriend, would have seen all the reaction from the guys, like, dude, you just don't do that. And that's low-life scumsucker and stuff. And I wanted to pause it on TV so they could see the reactions of all these men just, like, 
That is the worst thing you could ever do to a woman because I believe it really is. We have to say that though. You have to say that because you have a woman at home. These guys are on that VH1 show. They're funny. They like yeah, don't. Then all, they're gay. Like they're that. all kind of C list comedians. They <laughs> yeah. don't really have anything good. It's, it's, it's better to, to go say. for the. Yeah. You don't right. think that's one of the lowest for, things you can do? I really? think that is a low thing to do. I, I wouldn't do I it. I mean, honestly. No, I mean, I personally wouldn't do it and it is very, very low, but I totally understand if someone did. Pregnant ladies are a pain in I the get that ass. we're a pain in the ass, but I mean, you really, you don't really believe it's the lowest for that you can do to a woman besides beat her? Uh, cheating and cheating, period, is bad. I think cheating in general, that's not something I would do. But I, but it seems to take a weird turn when they're because pregnant. you should be overprotective of them why. and, all, and no, all it all about you and more into you than ever, which we are, than you drive well, us away. Because they're carrying your baby. <laughs> your baby, yeah. yeah. It's no, just I like totally a nine-month remember, uh, not a... Uh, Memory, remembrance. Uh, remembrance that you had reminder. sex. Reminder. Reminder, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> you reminder that coming. you had sex with this lady. I know. You know it's what just, I mean? Like, everybody just, knows. It is low. Oh, it not... seems it seems like when you find out that a man like beats a woman or what like beats her down, you know, and gives her a black eye, it just seems like I don't know why it's creepier. I mean, affairs, like you said, they're bad. Yeah. But something about when you see that pregnant woman, she's seven months pregnant, and you see him now with this blonde chick, you're like, God. And, and even when Kevin Federline cheated on what's yeah, her name? Oh, and now, yeah, that's right. She did have. She was. Pregnant she was pregnant. Right. She was pregnant. Also, you look at. I mean, not that being pregnant is a disability, but you definitely lose some of your uh, abilities to fight back. If you know what I mean, not physically, right. but yeah. you're you're in a weakened state. Well, you, your emotion, you your hormones. Feel so ugly. Right, and you've gained all this weight. Yeah. It just seems like you find somebody when they're at a low point, and then yeah. you try and screw them over even worse. Yeah, just like beat them. I mean, because I think it's emotionally just the meanest thing you right, can do. Right. Exactly. To them. So Ooh. anyway, so I, you know, I uh, I have this now in my head. I've watched this TV show so I go pummeling into the dining room <laughs> and I'm like all pissed off at him because I saw this TV show he's just caught off guard he's just working he's like Ugh, I think it's a sixth sense like a feeling or whatever and then Jack and Stench were telling me how their wives are all bent about dreams they have just oh, whatever yeah. it is you know it doesn't matter you you had an affair on me in a dream now I'm mad at you yep yeah Really or mad at you. You didn't save me from this per I mean, it could be anything. And like, this happened in your head, crazy lady. This is not my but problem. I love your comeback, Jack. <laughs> I told, I well, it only did it once because it made her more mad. It was so mean. I said, I rolled over and said, hey, I had a dream you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> See, that would be Yeah, you. she didn't like okay. that. Okay. But like on the TV thing, even, this is how crazy women in general are. My wife, we'll, we'll be watching a movie. And there'll be a couple, and they start fighting. And then the guy will, like, punch her in the head and then beat her to death and kill her. And then my wife will be like, I know how that woman feels. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? That's how you treat me. I'm like, oh, yeah, I punch you in the head and kill you. And she's like, no, but you've yelled at me like that before. <laughs> oh, my like, oh, my God, you're insane. It's insane. But maybe we just verbalize it. Maybe you guys feel the same way. You just don't tell us. No, we're like, hey, no. movie. That, I watched that a movie. Yeah, that was a good one. Wow, how did they make that fire look so good? I never yeah. think. I wish my wife was more like Reese, Reese Witherspoon, you know? <laughs> because, like, maybe when that one movie where Richard Gere is married to that chick and then she finds that hot Italian guy and she's having this really great affair with this hot Italian guy. I forgot what it's called. Oh, um, yeah, I know which one you're Yeah, about. And, and maybe you guys really feel like Richard Gere, but you just don't tell us. No. I almost no. never feel like Richard Gere. No. <laughs> I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> No. <laughs> Smokies, um, Jack calls it crazy blinders on. Yes. And he just came up with it, that women wear crazy blinders. And I said, what are crazy blinders? Why don't you explain to me what crazy blinders are, Jack? They see whatever they want to see in whatever they want to see. If it's TV, it could be a billboard I could get in trouble for. It could be a commercial. My wife, whatever her agenda in her little brain is that she's just been, she holds on to it. I'll give her credit because she doesn't just burst. She holds on until she gets the slightest bit of evidence. Right. It's like being in a lifelong debate and she needs like her little pieces of evidence to support her views. So as soon as she finds them, no matter where we may be, we could be driving. She find, in a menu, Jack. In a a men menu might have a message. Oh my God, it could be if we're at the Cheesecake Factory and, you know, they have pictures in between every page. Right. If there's a big enough diamond ring on a page, I'm in trouble for the rest of the meal. It doesn't matter <laughs> where we're at or what it is. So he calls it Crazy Blinders. It's where we get mad about TV or um, uh, dreams or, or whatever. I call it, it's just a, 
you know, intuition. It's, it's an intuition that somebody is sending us signals. Be mad <laughs> Except- in our dreams. I would back you on that if you had walked into the kitchen and your boyfriend was boning some chick on the table, yeah. but he wasn't. He was working. You but had Jack, no intuition. It's just a matter of time. You know this. <laughs> it's not a matter of time. <laughs> it's a matter of time. And then I was thinking, okay, I'm five months pregnant. He'll leave me when I'm seven months pregnant oh, based on that VH1 show. I really, and you know what? I don't think he's leaving you. I really <laughs> yeah, am going to go out on a limb on this one. Oh, Jack, you just watch him move to Colorado <laughs> or something. Just move away. <laughs> leave me all high and dry. Right around seven months. Is that's that your, why, That's the VH1 show. Is that the magic number, yep, seven months? that's the VH1 show. And then Stench <laughs> said that his wife does uh, not so much the crazy blinders of, but why can't we be those people? Yeah. Like, we we had uh, we can have dinner with a couple friend of ours, and it'll be like, they're so in love. Do you see how in love they are? Oh, my God. And it's like... You don't really know anything about them. It's like they're our friends, sure. But what do you think? They're going to tell us their problems right now at dinner? No, you know, everybody's putting on the happy face. Uh, it's like when you find out the neighbors got divorced right. and you're like, wow, they seem They were so, so happy. in love. I always yeah. say, I love how he takes care of her. Yeah, and yeah. it's a bunch of crap. Everyone's got problems. <laughs> oh. And my wife will do that with movies. We watch that stupid notebook or whatever. You'll never love me like that. And I look at her and go, I'll hire better writers. <laughs> yeah. That guy doesn't really love that chick. It was in the script. I know. But we want our lives to be like that, Jack. God. We want to be loved like that, like that, like that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, I think we're ready for our first calls of the day. Yay! We have lots of people. Jamie, Jack, and Stench. First call of the day. Call of the day. Dig go, baby, don't stop now. Dig go, baby, don't stop now. <laughs> yeah, I love that part. Your grill. Your grill, dumbass. Your Weber. Double XL. Double XL. Call me on the phone. Just ring my dinner bell. Double XL. Double XL. I believe me, love machine that likes to be held. Oh, baby, I'm a double XL. Was smart. They would take that. Uh, if it, is it Fifty Cent or it's Nelly? Nelly. They take Weber would buy that song and say, "I want to see your grill," and like right. do all kinds of scantily clad women showing off grills. Or they make the hip hop version of the Weber grill and encrust one in diamond and platinum. Pimp yeah, my grill, Jack. Pimp it, my grill. Sell it to those idiots who put diamonds and platinum in their, in their teeth. teeth. The George Foreman Bentley grill. <laughs> yeah, rock on. Those people will buy it. <laughs> Anybody with that kind of money? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. First calls of the day. It's Monica. You're the first call of the day. Yay! 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 Even though I don't think technically you were, I just pushed the wrong button. Right. <laughs> you are the first call we took today. Yay! Yay! And what does she win? You know what she wins? She wins that big old equal prize pack. <laughs> What's in the equal prize pack, you want to know? Yes. It's the new Zagat Best Brewed Beverage Bets Guide. Equal a great tasting alternative to sugar. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Hey. Monica, what are you going to do with something crazy like that? <laughs> All right, so, Monica, what were you calling about? I was calling to let you know, Jamie, that, yes, I did watch that show, too, and I was practically in tears because I had my 10-month-old in my arms, and I was thinking to myself, oh, my gosh, what is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these guys? Like Charlie Sheen, who left his wife for, like, six months. Right. And and then what was the guy that left her the seven-month pregnant? What's his name? And went to the girl in the movie. I know. It's that blonde. And she was like half his age or something. Like she was like 18 or something. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> she, I don't know. I don't remember her name, but, but I know. But see, who she, you're I'm not about. the only one. She got angry and she had her baby in her arms. Right. Yes. And what and was you know your what, husband Jamie? doing? And you know what? Yeah, crazy women who are pregnant, yeah, they're crazy and all. But you know what? It doesn't get any better after they have the kids because then You're you have the, crazy. you know, postpartum. And then you argue, like myself right now, 6 o'clock in the morning, why am I out? Because my husband, yes, last night I sent him for milk, and he gets her, like, the wrong milk. Like, it's not even, like, the same. I think it's, like, liquid, and it's, like, not even the same brand. And he comes home, and, and he gets mad. He goes, why can't you use it? I'm like, she's not a goat. Milk is confusing. <laughs> Milk is not confusing, Jack. Yes, it Jack. is. There's a whole thing, and they're all uh, very similar. There's only minor, you know, it's 1%, 2% whole, and they're, you know, then there's about yeah. three different half brands. And half, well, yeah. and then they decide to get fancy or something. I mean, this is a whole different Oprah, but all I wanted was that whatever yogurt I like, Yoplait. I like right. Yoplait okay. yogurt. Yeah. He comes home with these sticks of Gogurt. Oh, yeah, Gogurt's a weird thing, too, because it's like a drink, but you Go-Gurt suck it out go. of the packet. I'm like 13 now. I, I, I'm sorry? 
Are you 13 now with the go-gurt? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of a kid's thing. Oh, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, honey, all I wanted was Yo Play yogurt strawberry. Yeah. Well, I thought these would be great because you always drop it on your shirt when you're driving to work, and these are go-gurts. Oh, that's like from a romantic movie he was thinking about you. I don't like go-gurt. <laughs> you haven't tried go-gurt. You don't know? I don't want to try I wanted Yo Play strawberry. I don't want go-gurt. You'll learn. Because I used to do that to my wife, too. I'd find something that was better than what she actually wanted. It's or not different. better, go-gurt. No, you get exactly what they ask you, or you'll catch hell for you the rest of your write life. It down. You, right. you write it oh, down. No. Like, down to, like, okay, you go into the store, you turn left, and then you make a quick right. right and, then and so right that's what you street, did like, with the milk, like, right? Yeah, yeah. Monica. Like right next to the milk, and you write, like, everything because you have to they draw will come a picture. Home They'll come home with like no. different. Uh, Go like, That's have, what like, cell phones are for. I'm like, listen, if I wanted to eat healthy, I I would, you know, but I don't. I want a specific. You have to be. So I'm convinced, Monica, Monica, that we have to draw a picture. No, for you don't have to draw oh a picture. God. Here's what my wife does: sends me with the empty container. I'm not kidding. I'll be walking through the market with the empty <laughs> milk container so I can hold yeah. it up and compare. And compare. It's like a game. And then once I find the one, and the bell match goes up, game? ding, 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 ding. Those Dude, match. I'm telling you, cell phone with the camera. You take the picture. You email. <laughs> to their cell phone and say, is this the right one? And they say, yes. And That's this awesome. was even for his little baby. He got like, he thought oh. she was a goat. <laughs> and then he got mad. And then he, he, we had like this huge argument at like 12 midnight. And he's like, he's like, well, I don't understand why you just can't use it. You know, it's the same thing. I'm like, okay, first of all, no. Okay. <laughs> it's liquid and it's not even the same kind. And, and I'm like, what, what is this? It's like, Soy? I'm like, she can't, no, no, Soy she's milk. not a goat, she's not an experiment, you can't, you have to just, you know, keep it the same. So yeah. what happened, you guys argued all night? I, he, I argued all night, and then he's like, I can't take this, and he laughed, and I was like, fine, so I like locked the door, I'm like, fine, you're gonna leave, you're not gonna go back in, so he just went downstairs, and he kept knocking and knocking, and I was like, I'm not gonna answer the door, and then, and then, he was so annoying, he sat, he started playing doing the, the doorbell and I was like okay that's just annoying he's gonna wake up the baby so. you you locked him out of the entire house yes I did because he got the wrong milk <laughs> I'm telling you you don't it gets worse after you get pregnant because you get so protective you locked him out of the house because he got the wrong milk yeah <laughs> I don't think he did it maliciously. I really think he made a mistake. Oh, my God. And then, and then he got me, just don't need half her kind. I'm like, okay. So I go this morning, and I was like, did you guys just get a shipment of this? She goes, no, we've had it, all, we've had it for a while. She goes, we haven't had a shipment. And he, I'm like, so you had this card yesterday. And I just can't wait to just oh. go up there. Just, no, just no, face. leave it alone. Yeah, you let don't it go. Just, they had it the whole time because remember you're the woman that locked him out of the house at midnight because he got the wrong milk oh, right. <laughs> oh my god it's, it's not easy being us and oh now he's at god. work at the nuclear power plant pressing the wrong buttons exactly. because he's exhausted oh yeah. my god all right monica we love your story hold on the line we'll give you something pretty okay thank you <laughs> wow. hey, uh, we're right smack dab in the middle of all this so i'm not even going to talk uh, i'm just going to take these calls because right. everybody <laughs> wants to talk about hey don't say all right 1-800-STAR-987 you don't even need to do that they're packed people are pissed <laughs> tom good morning look hi, everybody hi tom. Tom. tom hi tom go ahead yeah hey, yeah i got a good one for you okay uh, a couple years ago, actually a long time ago, I guess it's been more than a couple of years, I worked for the post office from 4 to midnight. My co-workers, you know, we hung out at lunch. Most were girls, some were guys. And then one day when my wife was uh, about six and a half months pregnant, they asked me, hey, what are you doing after work? And I'm thinking, oh, what I always do, I go home. And they said, how'd you like to take us to a hotel for about an hour? No Boy, way. that was that was a thought. How would you like to take us to a hotel for about an Tom. Knock it down is this, with some coworkers. Was this your penthouse forum letter that you wrote and you just felt like you really needed to voice it? Tom, I've been to post office before yeah. and I don't see two women asking a guy, hey, do you want to take us to a hotel? Did they mean, hey, do you want to go to the hotel bar down the street? Yes, down the street for an hour and I don't think they meant to read magazines. Tom. Tom, I don't buy it. I know... I, 
all the ladies down at the Magnolia branch here in Burbank <laughs> listen, and they always say hi to me when I'm there. They're very nice, but I don't see them going to the other guys in there and saying, hey, let's go down to the Motel However, 6. Yeah, I've worked at a lot of places, too, and nobody's ever come up to me, or I've never gone up to a guy and go, hey, two hours at the motel? Yeah. 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 That was the first and only time that ever happened to me, and <laughs> as I smiled and said, I can't. You know, my wife was six and a half. This is why people kill each other at the post office. Yeah. Because of people like Tom. Tom. Because I can legally go postal now if I want to because I did work for the post office. And you know what? Nobody ever legally goes postal anymore. It's kind of a, that's kind of an 80s thing, isn't it? Yeah. You can't go postal anymore. No, postal. screening better. Yeah, the employees have really mellowed (laughs) out. What do you go now? You don't go postal. Oh, you go, uh, what's that one It's mainly high school kids now. It's more. No, you went all, it's, um, oh, it's like a celebrity. You went something. That celebrity went nutty. Oh, like hell. Mariah Carey? Oh, like Gary Busey? You went all Mariah. Or somebody, uh, there was been somebody lately, too, that uh, you went. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. What were you going to say? Uh, no, the thing, I remember Jack and I getting into a weird situation one time when we were uh, at another market that we used to be on in the air. And Jack and I were with this girl that worked at the radio station up there. Oh. And she goes, hey, you guys, come over here. And she walks, like, gets us to go to a bar across the street from her. And finally, she's talking to us really weird, and she gets up to the, go to the restroom, and Jack goes, dude, we're in a hotel with some married chick, and we're married. This is weird. And Jack runs out the door, and we end up leaving her there. It was, But it was so but weird. But he's at the bar, right? right. Yeah, we're yeah. at the yeah. bar. But Not she at the like, post office. She had lured us over there. Well, I mean, he's acting like they said, let's go to a hotel room. Right. Yeah, and bubble bar. Okay. I remember that lady. She was wasted, and you guys chose to go with her. Yeah, but then we realized, what are we doing? Are we right. ditching? But yeah, but that's different because you two oh, have on. like you two are. But you know. hold on, we were in a like, hotel and she was weird and she never actually said let's get a room. Yeah, you know what I mean. And she, we were still freaked out. And if yeah. I remember right, all that went bad because she was having an affair with the boss that we were working yeah. for, and then you guys tried to steal. Yeah, her. and then another coworker, and then another her. coworker of ours boned her. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that guy. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Do you know that? <laughs> Wait, do you? Allegedly, I guess. Well, hey, I didn't start, nobody, I didn't well, nobody knows who we're talking. We yeah, have a million coworkers. Right? Yeah. He did. Yeah. And you know that? Yeah. I mean, I heard that too. Yeah. I didn't. I don't have visual confirmation, but I heard that. Yeah, know that. You know that. Know well, that. let's just put that while we were downstairs hosting our own game show in the bar, remember that people didn't want to play? Yes, yes. and I remember he was gone. Yeah. Right. Somebody was having liaisons upstairs. But I thought he was just ticked off at, at us like he always was. With that yes. same person that was trying to lure Jack and I away earlier, and we fled the scene in fear. Wait a minute, because he was... No, that's what happened. Because they, Because we were having cocktails, and he wasn't. We were right. having lots of cocktails. We were having cocktails. He wasn't having cocktails. And so he, I thought he was pissed off at us because we were playing a game show at the bar. Yeah. So he left, but he was having <laughs> sex with a woman? Yeah, that worked at that station that had tried to lure Jack and I away later. And then, and, and, and then, if I remember correctly, someone named Jamie White got us thrown out of that bar. No. <laughs> later no, in the it was him. It was me. Oh, that's right. It was you. Cause Jamie threw a shoe at you, and then you went crazy. No, and, and then the, screamed at the no, waitress. She the called me loud. <laughs> the waitress called Jack loud. And then Jack got right in her face, like three inches from her face, and goes, "I'm not loud." And they threw. See, his yeah. Why'd out. you blame that on me? You threw a shoe across well, the restaurant like a, a Jimmy Choo boomerang. I know. Yeah, that is true. But Jack was supposed to take it in the chin, and he ducked, and it right. landed on a table. But that was after I was Jamie's microphone guy when we had our uh, made-up game show. We're in this bar, and mind you, none we're of these people- We're not invited. Right. Yeah. We're just in a bar. We walk in. after It was after an event we had done in another state. And we ditched everyone that we right. worked with up there. And right. somehow, we decided we were going to do a game show. Jamie hosted it, and I was the guy who walked around the audience with the microphone. Now, mind you, we didn't really have a microphone. I just walked up to people's <laughs> tables and made them talk to Jamie. <laughs> And no one was a willing participant, and people were pissed. And they were on a bar trying to, I mean, it was like a nice bar where they could right. eat and have appetizers and have cocktails. <laughs> we had only been on the air in this market for like two weeks, and so nobody had any idea who we were or cared at all. Oh, no. my God. But those were the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> what were, were we doing? <laughs> We're fun. Oh, that's all just such a horrible haze. That- then the next morning, Stench and I flashed people at the Starbucks across the street oh because they God. put our hotel room, had a big glass window that faced the Starbucks across the street. Oh. And people, I mean, talking just dozens of people sitting around reading the paper and Jack and I putting our wings <laughs> on the glass. And then, <laughs> laughing. yeah, they're putting their penises on the glass. And then Jack and Stench decided to do an intervention with my cell phone, not oh. allowing me to randomly call yeah. people because <laughs> no. they said I was drunk. 
after we called that guy's doctor that we abducted his cell phone. It was quite the that evening. Weekend, we started drinking on the plane on the way there, never stopped. And in fact, we're having cocktails in first class on the way back, and someone passed out, and we put a sign on them. And, they and no one was happy about that. And that's when I asked the, I the flight attendant what was the most drinks she had ever served anyone in first class, and she said it was to me, and then said, you can't have any more. <laughs> Good times, good times. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to our world of destruction. <laughs> Sorry about the detour. Yeah, no, it was it was memories. We just should <laughs> yeah. sing that song memories. next time. Kim, hi. <laughs> Kim? Yeah. Hi. 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 Welcome to our memories of Portland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a short-lived time in yeah. Portland. Yeah, they didn't really get us there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Kim, go ahead. What were you calling about? Well, first of all, you rule. We, we rule. rule. Thank Definitely. you so much. Hey, I know I think who the actress is you're thinking about. Yeah. Is it Mary Louise Parker and Billy Crudup? Who did he end up with? Claire Dane. Yep, that's one. That's the one! Wow. Yay! Yeah. No, it's driving me insane. That's who he left. She was okay. seven months pregnant. He left her for wow, Claire Danes. Wow, I never Danes. heard that. And I, I know who all those people are. I never heard yeah, that. Yeah, left her for Claire Danes. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Disgusting. Hey, Kim. Yeah? Since you got that little stress ball out of my head because I was, like, freaking out that I couldn't remember, I'm going to give you something pretty. Cool. <laughs> you know how you obsess about, like, who is it, who is it? I know it's all the right. show. I can't remember. Oh, my God. Totally. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Is she making fun of me? I think Maybe so. a little. Mm. All right. Here is uh, <laughs> Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi. How are you? We are great. Good, how are you? you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Good. Go ahead. Um, I actually had a friend who had a dream that her husband and I were having an affair, and she was a basically a total bitch to both of us for a month. She oh. wouldn't talk to me. She shows up to work one day. I'm trying to figure out, did I forget a birthday? Was I supposed to show up Why somewhere and I play? And yeah, she was just easy to both of us for so long. And it was because of her dream? Because of her dream. That's crazy. Well, so, wait a minute. Did you have uh-huh. feelings towards her husband? <laughs> no, of course not. Had you her ever husband. flirted with her husband? No, of course not. Were My you hotter husband. than her? Absolutely of not. You're not hotter than her? No. No, my friend is gorgeous. Oh, well, I'm just trying and to so, figure it all out. Your friend's crazy. That's I figured it she's out. She's not just, crazy. She just crazy. had a sense. No, it's you, crazy. No, no, it was crazy. It was total neurosis and had nothing to do with me, no kind of sixth sense. I mean, it was just, it was, it was bizarre, and it was months before she got over it. Well, you know what, though? Sometimes we just have this feeling like you're going to bone our husbands. Oh, God. Yeah, I would have to say probably not. As a general rule, I'm not voting. Yeah, but if you watch that VH1 show last night, you also know that a lot of men uh, downgrade with their affairs. So oh, even though your girlfriend was, like, way hotter, well, you said it. You said she's gorgeous. He could downgrade with his affair. Well, I understand that, and it's possible that it may have been with someone else, but, geez, well, she must add uh, feelings that her husband you know. had, like, some kind of something-something for you. God, I not. He wants you, Karen. Husband. I know, but he wants you, man. Oh, ooh, baby. <laughs> it's so much more fun. But isn't that funny how far she took it where she wouldn't speak to you or anything? We were at a party with like 40 people one day, and she would walk up to us and just say, uh, you two separate. <gasps> we're like, there's 40 people here. Oh, my wow. God. God. Wow. Yeah. But it's almost yeah. like she drove you yeah. two together. You know great? Welcome to the world of men, Karen. <laughs> God, no kidding, man. I feel so with. sorry for you guys. Oh, <laughs> Karen, yeah. you're off the phone yeah, forever. Man. Block Karen forever. That crazy bitch says she feels <laughs> sorry for men. <laughs> I'm sorry they smell. God. I know. It's like cheap freaking perfume or something that FP got me years and years ago that I've never used. It's just been in my drawer. But I feel like, I okay, I won't tell you where. But I, I went and bought some really cheap maternity wear yeah. right. somewhere where women are that are, are, are uh, pregnant are so lazy that some of it's fallen on the floor and you have to, like, get it off the floor. Well, you can't <laughs> bend over and pick up stuff. So yeah, so you just leave it on the floor. So I got it in my truck this morning, and I was like, this shirt stinks. And it's oh. brand new. I've never even worn it. Right. And I was yeah. like... It smells real bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like a factory or like, like a store. Like a pregnant woman didn't buy it first. Like a really humongous 800-pound sow bought it first, and then it didn't fit or something. But she went jogging in it, and then then brought it back to where I got it. They don't wash that stuff. If yeah. you take it home and then you return it, you don't know if somebody wore it with the tag still in it or you know. You also know that. 
pregnant ladies have crazy sense of smell, so it could have any light, right. slight odor, and she'd smell it like a like a dog from five miles away. Well, it was just it, so it was making me <laughs> sick like, sitting here. So I went and got that cheap perfume, and I just sprayed oh. it. Well, now I'm making everybody else yeah. sick. You're so now covered. you're a stinky French whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you smell it? No, I can't smell it in here, but I'm uh, a little clogged up. Okay. Now she smells like an 800-pound whore. <laughs> no, I smell like that sales chick that drives everybody insane. <laughs> Uh, you know, like that one sales chick yeah. that wears so much perfume that everybody's like, oh, uh, my God, I'm her. Yep. Oh, I don't wear perfume. I don't like perfume. And this is... Bleh. Yeah, perfume's nasty. And I feel like every time I touch the shirt... Okay, this is freaky. Every time I touch the shirt, I have to go wash my hands. Yeah, now you might be losing. No, I might be losing. Well, yeah. I feel like it's so dirty, Jack. I want it off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel yucky. Okay, anyway, hi. Go ahead, Sugarman. <laughs> no, it's. I don't know what it is. It's a, I'm just losing my mind. Okay, uh, we're talking about crazy blinders. Uh, oh, I know a good one that Jack had off the air. So we're talking about how I got mad at VH1 because this guy cheated on this girl that was seven months pregnant, and I was like, oh, my God, that's so you and I, and I stomped into the snowboarder who was working on stuff, and I'm like, I know you're going to leave me because I saw it on TV. Right, because uh, but, Billy Kudrup did. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I made it much bigger and more elaborate, blah, right. blah, blah. Then Jack and Stench both say their wives get mad about dreams they've had. Stench also offered the fact that uh, his wife will see other couples and go, they're so in love. I wish you loved me like that. I wish yeah. you treated me like that. Well, you have right. no idea. They really are no different than anybody else. This is the other great one that women do. do. Uh, tell them about the golden retriever. <laughs> oh, so we're watching. Okay. Well, first Jack okay. wants one. This is, I grew up, I've always had golden retrievers. It's like my favorite dog. You know, it's the breed that we had as a kid. And I've always wanted to get one. And we have two dogs now, so we're not going to, but we've talked about in the future getting the baby a puppy golden retriever. So right. we're watching CSI. <laughs> she knows this is the dog I want. There's an, a lame episode where a golden retriever mauls some woman and kills her, but it ends up it's not really the golden retriever's fault at the end. But right. halfway through the episode, my wife goes, well, see, I guess we can't get a golden retriever. I'm like, what oh, the hell? We base our God. life's decisions on CSI? <laughs> television in general. Right. You don't know how many decisions are made based on television. Yes. No, I, For I, women. I, I know my wife You don't would. know how many times we're mad at you. You don't know how many times we figured out you're having an affair on us. We don't know. You don't know how many times that we've decided what to wear. I mean, just everything. It's so sad how much we, de de oh. you know, decide our decisions. Huh? Decide my, our decisions. No, you're right. And my wife is suggestible even when it comes to commercials. We'll be sitting there and, you know, like a facial cleanser product will come up with a nice sunset in the background. She'll be like. I need to try that. I'm like, <laughs> what did they prove in that commercial that made you want to try that? It's great. It just looks good. Look at that bottle. Television is hell on men. Yeah. Well, it especially is. if if your woman, heaven help you, watches Oprah or Doctor uh, Phil, you're screwed. I don't watch either one of those. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's Jamie. You watch like, both, yeah. and you're pregnant. That poor man. <laughs> You arm yourself like you're Rambo yeah. with Dr. Phil and Oprah bullets, and then you go on the hunt. I arm myself with Oprah and Dr. Phil bullets? Yes, yep. and then you go hunting for a man okay. to shoot with them. I will say this, Jack. I'm so ashamed, but I will say this. Last night when we were arguing about whether he'll have an affair on me if I'm pregnant, right? and, and he's never been faithful to a girl in his life, I go. Oh, no. Dr. Phil. Here comes a Dr. Phil grenade. He just watch you pull the pin out of Dr. Dr. Phil and lob it at him. I go, well, oh. I know this. The best predictor of the future is the past. And he goes, well, you had an affair on your husband, so I guess you're in trouble. <laughs> Good for him. Oh, he lobbed the grenade back at you. Jamie. William Shatner. William Shatner sold his kidney stones on eBay. Right. For charity. For charity. Oh, that was nice. Nice of him. <laughs> $25,000 he got, though. Yep. He has sold his kidney stone online for uh, only one, I guess, for $25,000. He's giving the money to, uh, what, Habitat for Humanity? Wow, what a nice guy. Mm. That's, he, that's a lot of pain for Habitat for Humanity. $25,000. Per purchased by GoldenPalace.com, who buys all that crap. Yeah. They always it, buy that stuff. They bought, uh, what? They bought, like, the Jesus grilled cheese, and they buy the frying pan with, you know, anything with Virgin Mary or Jesus <laughs> burned it's in it. It's smarter they usually buy. than they get press the next day. Yep. That's for sure, because, I mean, William Shatner... Because I thought, who bought his kidney stone? Are they going to put it in a locket? Right. Oh. <laughs> make a necklace out of it. What does uh. Golden Palace do? Are they going to make it like a museum? I don't know what, what they... I think they do it just for the press because they're an online casino. I don't think they actually They should have... make a little museum. Yeah, make it... Let it travel around. Yeah, a little traveling museum. I mean, William Shatner kidney stone? I'd go see it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd pay like a quarter to see it at the fair. Oh, yeah. Isn't that awesome? Awesome.
Where did that come from? Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I do it all the time. It's driving me insane. Awesome. Okay, we're talking about people flipping out over television programs, bringing it onto the real life uh, dreams, where you act like like dreams are are really real, and you flip out about that. And then this one, I love so much. Chad, hi. 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 What happened? You guys rule. We, we rule. rule. Who flipped out over what? Okay, my mom a few years ago. Um, uh, got a Ouija board and started playing on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, it told her that her husband, uh, when they were still married, was having an affair and had a pair of women's underwear in his trunk. So now, she, I've had we, a Ouija board, and it either says, like, yes or no, or you have to spell out spell, things. That's yeah. a lot yeah. of that Ouija is a, board. Jack, how long would it take to spell that out? Underwear in a trunk is half a day. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone all the other stuff. <laughs> It gave her a name and everything. Like, she got into a huge fight with him and said, oh, yeah, well, I have a very reliable source that says you've been talking to this person. Wow. That is, yeah. But, okay, do you know what a Ouija board is? Yeah, your mom's crazy. It has all, Stench, it has all those letters at the top. Yeah, you got to spell it out. So, yeah. underwear in the trunk. Yeah, gave and, her a name and, and husband girl. is having an affair. She, she spent an hour looking through the trunk trying to find the underwear. And did she find it? No. Awesome. <laughs> but, um, Crazy. She, she blamed it on um, menopause because she had just started. Oh, and she's yeah. like, oh, my hormones are out of whack and da 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 da. Well, you know, I know that some people go psychotic over, uh, what was I going to say, um, a psychic. Yeah. A yeah. psychic. They'll, they'll buy that like it's the gospel. They'll tell you something crazy and it's like, you know, and the best is they'll tell you something crazy and then say, and for $12,000, I could make it not happen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, my psychic told First of all, I only know of you that's gone to a psychic that's gone to it. Yeah, I, li- I like psychics. Thing. But I've, I've never known anybody to really go and believe. But yeah, no, me too. no life-altering decisions are made. For me, it's more of a novelty. Like, yeah. I like it. I think, hey, that's pretty cool, and you'll hear them and hear them out. I'm not going to go change my life because of something a psychic tells I me. I feel like you kind of do it as a joke. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, to go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm, I'm not going to come back and be like, okay, I have to make sure my wife doesn't meet a tall, dark man about 6'2 that she's going to run off with. And I would go, like if we go, you know, yeah. sometimes we go to Venice Beach on um, Sunday mornings and stuff just for fun. Right. And I would go to those ladies that are set up along the side of Venice Beach, you know, along the walkway. But I know I'm going to get so mad. You're going to get mad and, and my wife will talk to one and, and, and flip out. And yeah. do that same stuff and like... Oh my God! There's underwear in your trunk. It's something I, totally I would like go that would to happen. be funny, but I know I'd end up getting mad, even though right. I don't believe in them at all. Uh, like, no, I don't believe in them at all. Yeah, me. But neither. I would, ma- I would get mad. <laughs> I don't believe in it at all. And we have Spivey, and I mean, he's good at what he does, and he nails it. And I'm amazed, but I still don't believe in him. And my yeah. wife will get mad. She's like, "Did you get a reading from Spivey?" I'm like, "I yeah. don't believe." It's like, how do you do that? I know. Well, and he, with the baby, because he predicted it'd be a boy, he had a fifty-fifty chance. Yeah. Yeah, well, Spivey oh, nails stuff with collars. With you, I mean, yeah, he, with you, he said it's gonna be a boy. It's gonna have big ears. You're gonna call it Dumbo, and then we find out Border Boy was called Dumbo as a kid because he had big ears. That's creepy. Spivey's really You know really what I good. learned though? A lot of kids were called Dumbo. <laughs> no, they were. A lot right. of kids in school, it was like a thing. Like everybody had big ears. You grow into them. <laughs> you grow into me. Didn't every kid in school when they had their head shaved and everything? They all everybody's ears were big. All the boys' ears were big. You didn't have a class full of big-eared boys? I didn't have boys? what we Dumbo. <laughs> no. You didn't? No. Uh, we had a couple of Dumbo. Well, we had a couple other bad names, too, but yeah. Dumbo, not so bad. Yeah. as a... <laughs> Not nearly as bad as some of the bad names. No. What was that tent word? Remember when they called those, uh, what's the name of that tent company? Oh, my God. You know, it's the name of a tent company, and you call a chicks that. Oh. Like large women, you call them? Yes, you call know. them that like, whatever like tent. Like Acme Tent Company? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the same company that sells anvils that you drop on their head? The Big Tent Company. Yeah, Burbank, it's like Wanamaker, isn't it, Tents? <laughs> it's know. like something like... Or the guy, the tent maker. Omar. No, the name, Omar. Omar. The, tent, the tent maker. Omar yeah, the who tent is maker. that? It's the name of a tent. It's just Omar the Tent Maker. Yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. How did you know that? Because for some reason, everyone always says Omar the Tent Maker. And who is Omar the Tent Maker? Never met him. Never met Does him. Does he make tents? Is it a name of a famous? It must be from a story or something. Yeah, where yeah. he's a famous like tent Like Aladdin maker. or something. Awesome. <laughs>